Hi, my name is Clark Mercer. I'm the Executive Director of the Metropolitan Washington Council of Governments. Welcome to Collaboration in Action, COG's video series where we go out into the DMV region and highlight the work that COG is doing with our members and partners to improve the quality of life for everyone in the region. This show is highlighting how COG works with local governments and partners to find solutions that move us closer to our climate and energy goals. So let's get to it. I'm here at Prince George's County to speak with Jeff King, COG's Director of Climate, Energy and Air Programs, Tommy Wa Olu Falave from the County's Department of the Environment, and Maurice Simpson from Constellation Energy about how local innovation and regional collaboration are helping make solar more accessible for everyone. Tell us a little bit about the solar goal we have for the region. So the COG Board of Directors adopted a goal of 250,000 solar rooftops by 2030. Right now we've got about a little under 100,000 systems installed in the region. Montgomery County's done it and here Prince George's County is now doing it. It's a great use of county government property and makes good economic sense. Saving taxpayers money by powering county buildings with solar. I mean that's the proverbial win-win for everybody. We've also recently hit another solar milestone. Yeah, so in the last year the region has achieved one gigawatt of installed solar. No, one region. gigawatt! Yeah. So tell me what one gigawatt gets us. <laughs> It's a lot of power, certainly tens of thousands of homes. Yeah. Every generation of technology, the cost is getting driven further and further down. I mean, it is a cost-effective way to, to, to power up. Absolutely. Well, I want to wrap this interview up so we can get back meeting our goal of 250,000 solar arrays That's by right. 2030. That's right. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. I'm here with Tommy Wah, Maurice. Tommy Wah from the County and Energy Analyst. Maurice with Constellation Energy. Tommy Wah, tell us what we're uh, standing under right now. We're at the Department of the Environment right now. Here there are about 1,900 solar panels that we're standing under right now. And they produce altogether about 1,000 kilowatts of solar power DC. And they help provide energy to our building here. Not only do they help us reduce utility costs, they're also helping us lower our carbon footprint and they are also providing covered parking. And in order to do this, you've got strong support from the elected leadership, but also a third party energy supplier. Maurice, tell us a little bit about Constellation and the work here that you're doing in Prince George's. Yes, Constellation, we are the largest uh, clean energy producer in the country, headquartered in downtown Baltimore. And so we're proud to work with our local governments and helping them achieve their clean energy goals. And what does it mean to you to be a Maryland company and to have a county like this be a, a national leader in solar? I think it's a perfect example of public and private partnerships. When private companies like Constellation get to work with counties like Prince George's and really show what happens when both entities come together for a shared goal. What do your neighbors need to know about this process and, and what they need to do to, to catch up to Prince George's? Our motto is to elevate and to lead by example. And that's what we're trying to do with solar energy. We are launching our Solarize campaign and we're offering consumer protections to make sure that residents are not only receiving incentives, towards helping cover the cost of a solar system, but also feeling comfortable going through the process of choosing a solar installer and just overall provide resources for residents and businesses to go solar. This is non-intrusive and like you said, it's providing shade, it's also providing energy, providing jobs, so it's gotta get you throughout the region, so. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to it. Constellation is a partner. We wanna work with as many local governments as we can and help everyone reach their goal. All right, well, keep up the great work and thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Right. Our region met our 2020 goal to reduce greenhouse gases. Our new goal is more ambitious, a 50% reduction by 2030. I'm here at the DC Department of Public Works, about to hop on a truck powered by clean energy. But first, I'm connecting with Antoine Thompson from the Greater Washington Region Clean Cities Coalition. Antoine, you and your coalition have been leaders in clean energy, from the biodiesel fleet that we've taken a look at to this EV bank, 300 EV stations as across uh, the District of Columbia. Tell me a little bit about the coalition and the work that you're doing. We've been around 33 years and we are one of 100 clean city and community organizations that span from here to Hawaii. One of the things that we love the most, the deployment of clean transportation technology, especially with our partners at DC, not only deploy them, but we have a woman business that helps with project management. We have a high concentration of diesel vehicles, which is the worst fuel on the market right now. And so to be able to go to a better grade of diesel reduces high rates of asthma, COPD, and other respiratory related illnesses. 
It's extremely good leadership for DC government. And they were just rated number eight this year of all the thousands of fleets in America, both public and private. Headwinds like they do at the federal level sometimes change a little bit more challenging now in the EV space. How are we adjusting to that? What does the future look like? When we talk about rural areas, some of our second ring suburbs, some of the more economically distressed areas of our community, we've got to make sure they get charging because oftentimes those areas have higher rates of pollution from factories and from vehicles, higher rates of asthma. There's a direct connection between transportation policy, school absenteeism, and workers missing days at the office because of their health. There is a nexus there to public health. There is a direct nexus to the economy and growing good jobs. And we're grateful at Clean Cities for all you do. So thank you for the partnership. We love the partnership and looking forward to working with you to make this area number one. Thank you, Antoine. Thank all right. you. Thank you. I'm here with Bill Griffiths. Bill is the fleet administrator for the DC Department of Public Works. And this is a pretty neat project, the, the biodiesel project here for the fleet. Tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. So biodiesel is an environmentally friendly diesel fuel. We run a soy-based biodiesel. So this is one of three 100% biodiesel tank we have here across the district. In this tank, it's 100, but for the rest of our, at our fuel site, we run a B20, so a 20% blend. We run that year round. For the B100 trucks, we run that for about nine, 10 months of the year, and then we go back down to B20 for the really cold winter months of like December, January, and February. I gotta imagine you're pretty unique in the region in terms of what you're doing. Some of our partners also using biodiesel in the region? We are the leader in the region, of course, but and they do, they come to us, they like, hey, how do you do it? What's the program like? They think it's like this complex solution, and it's not. It's just diesel fuel that's got a soy-based kind of product built into it. We're not seeing any maintenance problems caused by this, and that's and that's huge from an operation standpoint. It certainly sounds like something y'all have been leading in and something the rest of the region can look to and yes. adopt best practices. Yes. I think we're gonna jump on the truck now and uh, give it a whirl, so Let's go. thank you for having us. Yeah, no problem, thank you. So here in the DC region, we're not just talking about delivering clean energy, we're implementing it, which has resulted in healthier air, more connected communities, and real climate progress. For me, getting on this biodiesel truck, it's been fun, but it's also showing how collaboration and action is delivering a cleaner future for all of us. If you wanna learn more about the great work we do at COG with our partners around the region, visit us at mwcog.org.